declare your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Give glory to God, our light and our light. Oh, come, let us worship Him. Oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before His presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to Him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In His hand are the caverns of the earth, the heights of the hills are also His. The sea is His, for He made it, and his hands had molded the dry land. Oh, come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light and our life. Oh, come, let us worship Him. The fool has said in his heart, There is no God. All are corrupt and commit abominable acts. There is none who does any good. God looks down from heaven upon us all to see if there is any who is wise, if there is any who seek after God. Everyone has proved faithless and all alike have turned bad. There is none who does good, no, not one. Have they no knowledge, these evildoers, who eat up my people like bread, and do not call upon God? See how greatly they tremble, such trembling as never was. For God has scattered the bones of the enemy. They are put to shame because God has rejected them. Oh, that Israel's deliverance would come out of Zion. When God restores the fortunes of his people, Jacob will rejoice in Israel, be glad. Holy Father, apart from you, nothing is true, nothing is holy. Eradicate our sins and give us strength in our weakness, so that all who believe in your Son may rejoice in his glory, now and forever. Amen. Come to Calvary's holy mountain, sinners ruined by the fall. Here a pure and healing fountain flows to you, to me, to all. In a full perpetual tide, open when our Savior died. Come in sorrow.
and contrition, wounded, impotent, and blind. Hear the guilty free remission, hear the trouble peace may find. Health this fountain will restore, those who drink shall thirst no more. Those who drink shall live forever, tis a soul renewing flood. God is faithful, God will never break his covenant of blood. Signed when our Redeemer died, sealed when he was glorified. A reading from Job, the 29th and 31st chapter. And Job again took up his discourse and said, I have made a covenant with my eyes. How then could I gaze at a virgin? What would be my portion from God above and my heritage from the Almighty on high? Is not calamity for the unrighteous, and disaster for the workers of iniquity? Does not he see my ways, and number all my steps? If I have walked with falsehood, and my foot has hastened to deceit, let me be weighed in a just balance, and let God know my integrity. If my step has turned aside, from the way, and my heart has gone after my eyes, and if any spot has stuck to my hands, then let me sow and another eat, and let what grows for me be rooted out. If my heart has been enticed toward a woman, and I have lain in wait at my neighbor's door, then let my wife grind for another and let others bow down on her, for that would be a heinous crime. That would be an iniquity to be punished by the judges, for that would be a fire that consumes as far as Abaddon, and it would burn to the root of all my increase. If I have rejected the cause of my manservant or my maidservant, when they brought a complaint against me, what then shall I do when God rises up? When he makes an inquiry, what shall I answer him? Did not he who made me in the womb make him? And did not one fashion us in the womb? If I have withheld anything that the poor desired, or have caused the eyes of the widow to fail, or have eaten my morsel alone, and the fatherless has not eaten of it. For from my youth the fatherless grew up with me as with a father, and from my mother's womb I guided the widow. If I have seen anyone perish for lack of clothing, or the needy without covering, if his body has not blessed me, and if he has not worn, worn with the fleece of my sheep, if I have raised my hand against the fatherless, because I saw my help in the gate, then let my shoulder blade fall from my shoulder, and let my arm be broken from its socket. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A 
reading from the Acts of the Apostles, the 15th chapter. But some men came down from Judea and were teaching the brothers, unless you are circumcised according to the custom of Moses, you cannot be saved. And after Paul and Barnabas had no small dissension and debate with them, Paul and Barnabas and some of the others were appointed to go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and the elders about this question. So, being sent on their way by the church, they passed through both Phoenicia and Samaria, describing in detail the conversation, I'm sorry, the conversion of the Gentiles and brought great joy to all the brothers. When they came to Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church and the apostles and the elders, and they declared all that God had done with them. But some believers who belonged to the party of the Pharisees rose up and said, It is necessary to circumcise them and to order them to keep the law of Moses. The apostles and the elders were gathered together to consider this matter. And after there had been much debate, Peter stood up and said to them, Brothers, you know that in the early days God made a choice among you, that by my mouth the Gentiles should hear the word of the gospel and believe. And God, who knows the heart, bore witness to them by giving them the Holy Spirit, just as he did to us. And he made no distinction between us and them, having cleansed their hearts by faith. Now therefore, why are you putting God to the test by placing a yoke on the neck of the disciples that neither our fathers nor we have been able to bear? But we believe that we will be saved through the grace and the Lord Jesus, just as they will. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets, but now in these last days he has spoken to us by his Son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior. Born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death 
to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Almighty and eternal God, you know our problems and our weaknesses better than we ourselves. In your love and by your power, help us in our confusion, and in spite of our weakness, make us firm in faith. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have protected us through the night from all danger and harm. We ask you to preserve and keep us this day also from all sin and evil, that in all our thoughts, words, and deeds we may serve and please you. Into your hands we commend our bodies and souls and all that is ours. Let your holy angels have charge of us that the wicked one have no power over us. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, you desire not the death of a sinner, but that all would repent and live. Hear our prayers for those outside the church. Take away their iniquity and turn them from their false gods to you, the living and true God. Gather them into your holy church to the glory of your name, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord God, Heavenly Father, according to your gracious will, you have established within your church on earth many willing workers for the ministration of your manifold gifts. We thank you that you have provided deans of honest report ready to serve the North American Lutheran Church for your sake. Give courage and strength to their spouses in the ministry they provide. We humbly pray you to enrich them abundantly with your Holy Spirit, that they may have wisdom and strength for the service to which you have called them. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now I awake to see the light. Lord, thou hast kept me through the night. To thee I lift my voice and pray that thou wilt keep me through the day. If I should die before tis done, O God, accept me through thy Son. Amen. O Lord, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity, and in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen.